Fleas transmit the tapeworm Dipylidium caninum, the most common tapeworm of dogs and cats. The larva of this tapeworm is carried in the body of the flea. If dogs or cats chew an annoying flea while they're grooming themselves, the tapeworm larva is released and travels through the stomach to the gut. On reaching the gut, the tapeworm larva attaches itself by its head to the intestinal mucosa. Now the development from larva to sexually mature adult begins. Adult tapeworms consist of a head, which is used for attachment, and a neck followed by a chain of continuously forming segments called proglottids. Each proglottid is an independent unit containing many hundreds of eggs. Mature tapeworm segments packed with eggs are shed individually and excreted with the feces. They're sometimes noticed as small, wriggling shapes resembling cucumber seeds or grains of rice. Once in the environment, the proglottids dry out and burst, releasing the tapeworm eggs. Flea larvae swallow the tapeworm eggs. While the flea larva develops into an adult flea, the tapeworm larva inside it hatches from the tapeworm egg. And the cycle begins all over again. Dogs and cats can get infected with roundworm eggs and larvae almost anywhere. They can pick up worm eggs from their surroundings as they rummage around. The eggs are swallowed and enter the gut where larvae hatch from the worm eggs. Depending on the animal's age and the strength of its immune system, the larvae penetrate the intestinal wall and embark on their migration through the body. They enter the blood vessels and are carried in the bloodstream to various organs. These organs are damaged by the migratory movements of the worm larvae. In young animals, the larvae often travel to the liver and then to the lungs via the bloodstream. From here, they reach the trachea, are coughed up, swallowed and travel through the esophagus to the intestine where they settle and develop into mature egg-laying adults. Adult worms can produce up to 200,000 eggs daily. The worm eggs, which are invisible to the naked eye, are excreted in the animal's feces. They're able to survive for several years in the soil and act as a source of infection for other animals. Some of the worm larvae migrating around the body do not return to the intestine. They become encapsulated, mainly in the muscles, and enter a state of dormancy. These arrested larvae in the muscles are the reason why worms are transmitted from the bitch to her pups. During the final trimester of pregnancy, the dormant larvae are reactivated by hormones. They travel to the uterus via the bloodstream and infect the unborn pups. Other larvae reach the mammary gland via the bloodstream. Newborn puppies and kittens can then be infected through their mother's milk.